In the long and growing list of customer complaints and nightmare stories sent to us here at WFAA, this one stood out. Okay, so let's see. Because Blaine Moore of Mandeville, Louisiana, sent us a Christmas poem. It's called The Southwest Christmas That Wasn't. Emojis and all. With that, it all started. Lost luggage and lies. Flight cancellations. Our frustrated cries. As the Southwest meltdown began, her family's New Orleans to Montana flights were canceled. Their luggage lost somewhere in between, and no one could find it. Well, I'd pretty much just given up. I, I really didn't think we were going to ever see our stuff again. A nightmare shared by so many. More than 15,000 flights canceled this week, luggage stacking up at airports across the country. You may remember our Love Field visit with a very agitated Nolan Satik. This is your luggage, people. Your luggage is very unsecure. Ridiculous. And it lasted until today. On Friday, Southwest canceling only a small fraction of flights. And the Southwest CEO on TV again issuing the airline's latest apology. There's just no way almost to apologize enough because we love our customers, we love our people, and we really impacted their plans. The good news for people like Blaine Moore. After eight days, her luggage showed up today, shipped to them via FedEx. She's among the tens of thousands now applying online for the cost of trips they never got to take. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how long it's going to be till we're going to try that again. So to Southwest, she offers the final line of her Christmas poem. Merry Christmas to all. We wish you the best. Merry Christmas to all, except for Southwest. A not so merry Christmas that no one. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Wants to see again. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.